Chapter 7 The two women and the small boy stood absolutely still on the grass underneath the tree, gazing up at the extraordinary fruit. James' little face was glowing with excitement. His eyes were as big and, and bright as the two stars. He could see the peach swelling larger and larger, as clearly as if it were a balloon being blown up. In half a minute, it was the size of a melon. Another half a minute, it was twice as big again. Just look at it growing, Aunt Spiker cried. Will it ever stop? Aunt Sponge shouted, waving her fat arms and starting to dance around in circles. And now it was so big, it looked like an enormous butter-colored butter pumpkin dangling from the top of the tree. Get away from the, from that tree trunk, you stupid boy, Aunt Spiker yelled. The slightest shake and I'm sure it will fall off. It must weigh 20 or 30 pounds at least. The, bran the branch of the peach that the peach was growing on was beginning to bend, bend over further and further because of the weight. Stand back, Aunt Sponge shouted, shouted. It's coming down. The branch is going to break. But the branch didn't break. It simply bent over more and more as the peach got heavier and heavier. And still, it went on growing. Another minute, this mammoth fruit was large and round and fat and fat as Aunt Sponge herself and probably just as heavy. It has to stop now, Aunt Spiker yelled. It can't go on forever. But it didn't. Soon it was the size of a small car and reached halfway to the ground. Both ants were hopping around, hopping around and around the tree, clapping their hands and shouting all sorts of silly things in their excitement. Hallelujah, shouted Aunt Spiker. What a peach! What a peach! Terrifico! Aunt Sponge cried out. Magnifico! Splend Splendifico! And what a meal! It's still growing! I know, I know! As far as James, he was so spellbound by the whole thing that he could only stand and stare and murmur quietly to himself, Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's the most beautiful, beautiful thing I've ever seen. Shut up, you little twerp. Aunt Spiker shut, snapped, happening to overhear him. It's none of your business. That's right, Aunt Sponge declared. It got, it's got nothing to do with you whatsoever. Keep out of it. Look, Aunt Spike, Spiker shouted. It's growing faster than ever now. It's speeding up. I see it, Spiker. I do, I do. The bigger and bigger and bigger grew the peach, bigger and bigger and bigger. Then at last, when it had become nearly as tall as the tree that it was growing on and, and wide, in fact, as a small house, the bottom part of it gently touched the ground and there it rested. It can't fall off now, Aunt Sponge shouted. It stopped growing. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. It's slowing down, Spiker. It's slowing down, Spiker. It's slowly, it's slowing down. But it hasn't stopped yet. You watch it. There was a pause. It has now. I believe you're right. Do you think it's safe to touch it? I don't know. We'd better be careful. Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker began walking slowly around the peach, inspecting it very cautiously from all the sides. They were, they were like a couple of hunters who had just shot an elephant, and they were not quite sure what, sure whether it was dead or alive. And the massive round fruit towered over them so high that they had, that they looked like midgets from another world beside it. The skin of the peach was very beautiful, a rich buttery yellow with patches of brilliant pink and red. 
Aunt Sponge advanced cautiously and touched it with the tip of one finger. It's ripe, she cried. It's just perfect. Now see here, Spiker. Why don't we go get get us a shovel right away and dig out a great hunk for you and me to eat? No, Aunt Spiker, not yet. Why ever not? Because I say so. But I can't wait to eat some, Aunt Sponge cried out. She was she she was watering at the mouth and now watering at the mouth now, and thin trickle of spit was running down the side of her chin. My dear sponge, Aunt Spiker said slowly, thinking winking at her sister, smiling a sly thin smile. There's a pile of money to be made out of this, and we can only hand if only we can handle it right. Wait and see. Chapter seven. The two women and the small boy absol- stood absolutely still on the grass underneath the tree, gazing up at the extraordinary fruit. James little face was glowing with excitement. His eyes were as big and, and bright as the two stars. He could see the peach swelling larger and larger, as clearly as if it were a balloon being blown up. In half a minute, it was the size of a melon. Another half a minute, it was twice as big again. Just look at it growing, Aunt Spiker cried. Will it ever stop? Aunt Sponge shouted, waving her fat arms and starting to dance around in circles. And now it was so big, it looked like an enormous butter, butter-colored pumpkin dangling from the top of the tree. Get away from the, from that tree trunk, you stupid boy, Aunt Spiker yelled. The slightest shake and I'm sure it will fall off. It must weigh 20 or 30 pounds at least. The, bran- the branch of the peach 